I am Dr. Amarjeet Kaur. I am very happy to be connected with you today this afternoon to discuss income and expenditure account. I would like to give a brief about me. I am a professor of accounting uh, in the department of management at Gurugram University which is a public university in NCR. Uh, I am also looking after the department as dean, uh, dean of the department of management, faculty of commerce and management. I am a certified management accountant from uh, USA. I am MCOM from India and MBA from University of West of Scotland, UK. Uh, I carry 28 years of experience in the area of education and food industry. Uh, I have authored 8 books and uh, 48 research papers. So uh, I am sure you will be paying attention to this topic income and expenditure account which is the extension of accounting for non for profit organizations. So uh, let us talk about this topic now. Income and expenditure account is basically prepared by not for profit organizations. Why? Because we want to ascertain the surplus or deficit. You know what is the outcome of a one year's operation of a non for profit organization that is what we want to find out. So operational result is in the form of either surplus or the deficit for that particular accounting year. If expenses exceed your revenue then it is deficit and if revenue exceeds expenses then it is surplus right. So, uh, this particular account which is income and expenditure account is prepared in the form of profit and loss account. On the very same pattern we prepare the profit and loss account we shall be preparing income and expenditure account. Now, if I talk about uh, the features of this particular account, the first of all this particular account is a nominal account. So, it means uh, the rules of nominal account would be applicable on income and expenditure account. If you remember in the last week we discussed about receipt and payment account and that is a real account where the rules of real account debit what comes in and credit what goes out applies. And the rules of nominal account as we all know we debit all expenses and losses and we credit all revenues and all gains. So we shall be applying the rule of nominal account while preparing this income and expenditure account. Coming to the ne uh, next important uh, point here that what all do we record on debit and credit side. The items which we record on the debit side are very much like the profit and loss account which means expenses and losses will be recorded on the debit side and all revenues, all receipt whatever it could be in the form of subscription fees, in the form of donation, in the form of any interest received, in the form of sale of any scrap whatever kind of receipts a uh, not for profit organization will have during one accounting period that is going to be recorded on the credit side of this particular account. Coming to the next uh, feature that no recording of opening and closing balance. We do not record any opening balance or closing balance in, in, in income and expenditure account, right? So it means uh, very, uh, no, in the receipt and payment account, if you recall from the previous lecture, we do record opening balance and at the end we have the closing balance. So here we do not have the opening balance of this particular account. The difference at the end would be known as profit uh, as, as deficit or surplus. Now the next very important point about this particular account is that we record income and expenses but only of the current year. So we will not record any revenue or any expense which belongs to previous year or which belongs to subsequent year which means in case we have any such receipt or payment which belongs to previous year or the subsequent year we are going to adjust that amount right. So ultimately we shall be recording only those transactions of income and expenses which belongs to the current year okay. 
now coming uh, to the next point that we do make adjustments and certainly we would be making adjustments for those income and expenditure items which pertains to previous year or the subsequent year so uh, no adjustment is required for the current year of course but uh, we also uh, be you know uh, sh be sure about that in case there is one expenditure or uh, item or any revenue item which pertains to a particular fund a special fund special sports fund special uh, you know campaign fund in that case that particular revenue and expense item is not adjusted in the income and expenditure account that particular item would be taken to the balance sheet and would be adjusted from that particular fund which is a special purpose fund right we show that special purpose fund in the liability side not in the income and expenditure debit side as an expense or credit side as a revenue so this is one thing the last thing is that purpose of this account is to find out surplus or deficit for a particular year only of any non for profit organization so these are the features of uh, non for profit organizations income and expenditure account okay now i will shall be discussing about the difference between receipt and payment account and income and expenditure account in the last week which we uh, we covered receipt and payment account today we shall be uh, differentiating between the receipt and payment account and income and expenditure account so i shall be discussing on certain basis the first basis of differentiation is nature so if we talk about the nature the receipt and payment accounts nature is to record receipts and payments of all kind whereas the nature of income and expenditure is to record revenue or expenses of one particular year so that is the nature the second point of differentiation between the two is sides so the receipt and payment uh, account has two sides and so are for income and state uh, expenditure account so so the the commonality is that both the accounts receipt and payment have two sides but what do we show on those two sides is different so the point of differentiation between uh, these two on the basis of side is this that in the receipt and payment account we show all the receipts you know either capital or revenue receipts on the left hand side and whereas on the right hand side we show all uh, payments either capital nature or revenue nature whereas in the income and expenditure account on the debit side we show all expenses and on the credit side we show all the receipts of recurring nature only coming to the third point of differentiation is the types of account the income and expenditure account is a nominal account i know i was talking about the features of income and expenditure account there i just mentioned a few minutes ago only that the income and expenditure account is a nominal account and accordingly the rules of nominal accounts are applicable on this account whereas the receipt and payment account is a, a real account and the rule of real accounts are applicable on receipt and payment account now coming to the next item of differentiation next point of differentiation the opening and closing balance we have opening as well as closing balance when we prepare receipt and payment account so the beginning point of a receipt and payment account is always the opening balance if the cash and and the bank has uh, positive opening balance it will go on the receipt side uh, cash can never have uh, you know credit balance but in case there's a bank overdraft it will go on the uh, you know opposite side whereas in the income and expenditure we do not have opening or closing balance we simply put all item of expenses and losses on the debit side and all items of revenues and gains on the credit side 
the next point of differentiation is capital and revenue item so in the receipt and payment account we record you know all expenses and all revenue items irrespective they are of capital nature or of recurring or revenue nature right what does it mean let's say i received interest on debentures i received subscription fees and i received some cash by selling my fixed assets so the first two item which i mention are revenue receipt interest i will keep on receiving on my investment right the subscription fees i keep on receiving on continuous basis as a non uh, not for profit organization but the sale of a uh, fixed asset the sale of furniture sale of building etc is not a recurring receipt i will not be receiving it on daily basis on regular basis so that is a you know an example of capital receipt so if i am preparing re- receipt and payment account i am going to record both the capital as well as revenue receipts and capital and revenue expenses right whereas in case i am preparing income and expenditure account i am going to restrict myself only to recurring nature items and which is applicable for both income and expenditure right so i shall be recording only such income and expenditure items which are of regular nature which are of recurring nature i will re- exclude any item of capital nature so these were the points of differentiation between receipt and payment account and income and expenditure account now after this i will be talking about the distinction between receipt and payment account and income and expenditure account for the remaining points so the next point is period of income and expenditure the period of income and expenditure for receipt and payment account is unlimited is there's no restriction which means which means that i can record any item of income and expenditure irrespective it belongs to current year previous year or subsequent year let's say i i am xyz recreational club i am xyz rwa right so in rwa there are few members who would be very responsible would be paying their annual fees annual membership fees on time right there would be few members who delay their uh, and you no know, payment of annual fees you know i have seen in the last year in the even up to up to now even because of corona effect uh, people have lost their jobs people have uh, you know their income has fallen down significantly and the and the, the you know many people could not pay those uh, expenses those uh, payments which were due though but they think they can uh, do without paying it and out of them the rwa fees is the most common uh, commonly observed item right so rwa membership you are supposed to pay, pay annual fees it could be you know, a bare minimum of 1000 rupees or 5000 rupees or 10000 rupees right so people could not pay so let's say in 2020 april 1st 2020 to 31st march uh, 2021 this is the annual uh, accounting period for any rwa and uh, rwa could receive uh, from 70% of the members the subscription fees the membership fees and there were uh, let's say 29% people who could not pay because of the corona effect because of the loss of their job and etc right and there was 1% of people who were planned uh, to travel somewhere who were not available who or who have enough money and who do not have any loss of income and they paid in advance so there are three set of people one who paid on time two who could not pay because of whatever the reason may be and third the ones who paid in advance so if i am preparing receipt and payment account 
I am going to record all the three payments. One which I received, the second you know which I received in advance and the third one which I may have received from the previous year 2019. Right? The people who could not pay in 19 paid in 20 or people who could not pay in 20 paid in 21. Right? So, anything received in advance, anything received from the previous year, anything received in the current year, everything is going to be recorded. The only criteria is that I should have received in the current year and so is true for the expenditure. If I have paid, you know, as, as an RWA, as a club, as, as any hospital, as any trust, we have expenses as well, right? So, these non, not for profit organization have expenses as well as income. So, if they do pay any expenditure in the current year, irrespective that expenditure belongs to the current year, it belongs to the previous year, the year which has passed by or it belongs to the future year which means the, uh, the organization is paying in advance. All the three categories of expenditure is going to be recorded in the receipt and payment account under the expenditure head. Right? So, income and expenditure which means of any year, any accounting period would be recorded. But if we make a differentiation between the income and expenditure account, we are going to record only those incomes and only those expenses which belong to the current accounting period. My accounting period could be 1st April to 31st March, it could be 1st January to 31st December. Right, in different countries, in different locations. So, the accounting period is different. In India, we have the accounting period of 1st April to 31st March. Right, so this was the point of differentiation. So, the other point of differentiation is the adjustments. Right, so we make adjustments of previous year and the subsequent year, that future year, in income and expenditure items for preparing income and expenditure account. But we need not to make any such adjustment in receipt and payment account. So, this particular point has of course a close connection or close link with the previous point I just discussed. Coming to the balance sheet. So, this income and expenditure account is not basis for balance sheet. Whereas, the receipt and payment account becomes basis for preparing balance sheet, right? And the last item, transfer of closing balance. This uh, closing balance of receipt and payment account is transferred to the opening balance sheet. Whereas, the closing balance of this particular uh, income and expenditure account is transferred to capital fund, right? So, the capital fund is something which is you know, very peculiar to only not for profit organizations. Capital, so if you have any idea, all four business organizations, any normal company, any normal business have capital fund. You know, it could be shareholders fund, if it is a corporation, it is a company, it is capital fund, if it is a proprietorship firm or a partnership firm. Right? So, we call it as capital fund, the amount which has been brought into the business by owners. But in case of not-for-profit organization, we have capital fund which is created out of the membership fees which is annual. So, annual subscriptions are always transferred to capital fund and as well as any surplus of the income and expenditure account, you know, the point which I am discussing right away that particular amount is transferred to capital fund. So, these were the points of distinction between receipt and payment account and income and expenditure account. So, after this, I hope this is clear to you and I invite any question you may have. So, I really welcome, I would be more than happy to answer any question. After this, I am going to discuss the distinction between income and expenditure account and profit and loss account. So, so the first point of differentiation between two income and expenditure account and profit and loss account is the objective. 
So, the objective of preparing income and expenditure account as I just briefed uh, two minutes ago is to find out the amount of profit or loss which we say in the terms of surplus or deficit, right? So, not for profit organizations, they prepare income and expenditure account and very objective of this particular account is to find out the amount of deficit or surplus. Whereas, uh, for profit and loss account, the purpose, the objective of preparing a profit and loss account is to find out the profit or loss for a particular accounting year, right? So, that is the one differentiation point, a very important one that objective is entirely different for these two types of accounts. Now, coming to the next point of differentiation which is basis of prepare. So, how do we prepare? What, are, what is the basis of preparation of income and expenditure account and what is the basis of preparation of profit and loss account? This is a very, very important point for discussion. So, income and expenditure account is prepared with the help of receipt and payment account. So, we have all the items which belongs to either balance sheet or belongs to income and expenditure. They are shown in receipt and payment account. So, the basis for preparing an income and expenditure account is receipt and payment account. In the receipt and payment account, if you just recall the discussion which we had few minutes ago, that we put all income and expenditure item, either for current year, previous year and, and so on. Whereas, in this income and expenditure account, we prepare it only for the current year. So, we will be identifying those items which belongs to the current year. We take revenue and expenses from the receipt and payment account and we do adjust that of course for any receipt or payment which belongs to the previous year or the future year. So, finally, the amount which is adjusted amount is going to be recorded in the income and expenditure account. So, I hope you are clear with this point that this is prepared based on receipt and payment account. Now, coming to profit and loss account, the question comes in, what is the basis for preparation of income and expenditure account and what is the basis for preparation of profit and loss account? So, for profit and loss account, the basis for preparation is trial balance. Trial balance as you all uh, may uh, know it, that is a statement. It is a statement which is prepared by any company, right, which is into profit making business or which is into trading or into manufacturing or into service, whatever the kind of business they may be and whatever the size of the company or the business may be, they could be in the form of proprietorship firm, partnership firm or company, but they are supposed to be preparing their profit and loss account and balance sheet which is we call as final accounts on the basis of trial balance, right? So, the trial balance becomes basis for preparing profit and loss account. What goes from trial balance to profit and loss account is the next question. From trial balance, we identify items of nominal nature which means income and expense item are carried from trial balance to profit and loss account, okay? So, the basis of preparation of profit and loss account is trial balance whereas, the basis for preparation of income and expenditure account is your receipt and payment account, right? Now, coming to the next account prepared by that is the basis of differentiation. Who prepares which particular account? I hope by the discussion we had this by this time, you have clarity that the income and expenditure account is prepared by all not for profit organizations. Example could be an hospital, an RWA, a Gurdwara, a Mandir, a church, uh, at any, any educational society, they all are required to make income and expenditure account. Whereas, any for profit organization. It could be in the form of trading company, it could be a service company, a service providing company, it could be any 
manufacturing companies all for profit organizations whichever form they are operating in they are working in are uh, required to prepare profit and loss count as a statutory requirement by companies act such requirement by different accounting bodies the last point is the balance the balance in uh, income and expenditure account would be deficit or surplus and will be transferred or adjusted to capital fund and the balance of profit and loss account would be in the form of profit or loss which is taken to the capital or shareholders fund right in case it is a, an account for proprietor it is transferred to capital see if it is a surplus it is a profit it will be trans it will be added to capital if it is loss it will be subtracted from the capital and if it is a corporate or a company then it is shown separately under the under the reserves if we do not distribute if we distribute and the remaining part or part of the profit is shown under the profit and loss accounts uh, you know balance as reserves so i hope you are clear with these points of differentiation this was all about in this session where we discussed what income and expenditure account is how is it different from a receipt and payment account how is it different from profit and loss account and how do we prepare income and expenditure account the basis for it so i hope this discussion was useful to you thank you very much for being with me for the last few minutes thank you viewers